Today I wanted to expand a little bit on my statement that I had made in my previous video about how uh, people are uh, people find it difficult to accept evolution because it doesn't impact them in their daily life. Um, and I wanted to I wanted to talk a little bit more about that and and some ways to connect it to theology, uh, my theological thoughts. But I want I I think I need to lay some groundwork. So I'm, so I'm going to do this video first, and then the other video will follow. Um, Human beings understand things um, when they are at a human scale. Okay, things that are in human scale is what human beings understand. Uh, there are some extremely brilliant people uh, who can understand things outside of that scale, uh, but most people uh, need to need to either you know they, they might have glimpses of it and then they break it down into these into these these human scale analogs and then they understand it that way. And, and that, that to me is the key to trying to explain a topic is, you know, you've got to give it that handle that somebody, you know, can, can hold on to. And, 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 and I mean, and, and our language is, is full of that, you know, because you can grasp a concept, you know, you manipulate an idea, you know, so, so the idea that it's tangible and that we can actually hold it um, is 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 embedded into our language and that's how we understand things and you know so for example you know we can we can understand you know like a place right and you can you can move through it and whatever but a map helps because anything outside of you know your immediate field of vision you know is is difficult for you to, to hold as a concept in your head but if you see it you know there in in two dimensions you know then then you, you understand the relationships better you know, and, and, you know, we've all, you know, traveled to a particular place or whatever by one route, but then you look at a map and you go, oh, I could have gone this way. And, you know, it didn't matter that you knew the neighborhood. You didn't have that. You, you couldn't put together that relationship without that human scale, um, you know, analog of the actual place. You know, and that's why, you know, like we make, you know, we make scale models of the universe, you know, and, you know, with maps uh, you know, charts of those things, um, you know, the galaxy or whatever, you know, how this is placed here, this is placed there, and whatever. And we make scale models of the uh, of the solar system. You know, you've been to, like, maybe Planetarium that had had those models or whatever. And, <clears throat> and they're good for getting those concepts across. I mean, you're not going to launch a mission to the moon based on, you know, the measurements that you take from those models. You need other models that have, you know, better detail for the things that you're trying to do, you know, when you're trying to do do those things. But for like just wrapping your head around a concept, those types of things are necessary. The, the idea of bringing it into a human scale, you know, and, and likewise, you know, it goes the other way, you know, not just big things to shrink them down so that you can see them all at once. But, you know, little things, you know, that's why you can make like a diagram of a molecule or of an atom or whatever. And it's, you know, it's a picture that you can see, you know, whatever on a computer screen, a piece of paper, a textbook. And, you know, again, you know, the, the the map is not the place, the model is not the thing, you know, it, it only works so, so well, but it, but it does work well at, at what it does, which is getting you to understand how the different parts fit together and, and such. Um, and likewise, you know, it doesn't even matter, you know, even if you have something that is like human scale, more or less, and you can see all the parts and everything, you know, an exploded diagram of something helps because then you can see the relationship between everything, you know. Sometimes you know, little pieces blocked here. You can't actually see it until you turn it around and whatever. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't want to belabor the the point with a bunch of bunch of you know uh, examples. But suffice it to say that that when we bring things into human scale, you know that's how we begin to understand them. Um, and so it, so it's so it's very important when we're going to be. Uh, trying to communicate any idea and especially you know to to masses of people you've got to give that handle that they can use you know to hold on to the thing to, to get to get an idea and you know and, and i understand i'm using that metaphor you know i'm using i'm uh, you know I, I'm, I'm purposefully using a metaphor here so that you can you know metaphorically wrap your head around it so you, that you can understand the idea that i'm that i'm talking about and and that's why, you know, even with ideas, 
you know, we still need to we still need to come up with these these simple explanations for things, not simplistic. You know, because simplistic means you're going to just lose you know vital information to understanding the concept. But simple explanations, which means that you are going to lose some of the detail. Again, you're not launching that mission to the moon based on you know a, a planetarium you know chart or something like that. You know, you're going to need something more than that. Um, you know, the, the, everything's got to be you know got to be scaled properly. Uh, you know, for that. I mean, you know, likewise, you know, you're not going to build a house based on you know a, a, a map. Of uh, of your town, you know. Oh, there, see where that dot is. That's where I want you to build this house. No, you know, you've got to have the plans. You know, uh, different angles, elevations, whatever. Uh, you know, with scaled measurements. Yeah, so you're still going to need those tools. But you know, if somebody wants to say, well, what is this house going to look like? You know, two elevations and a floor plan is all you need. You know, and you don't have to have all the measurements, etc. Um, so it's so it's a good idea. And as a matter of fact, it's the only thing that really works to get ideas across. And I, I think that, that, that it's, it's vital to recognize that. That even though the idea that you might be representing um, isn't fully represented in your model, it's still, you know, it still can be an accurate model. It's only, but it's only accurate for that, you know, perhaps for that purpose, like an introduction. Uh, so... You know, it doesn't have to be as detailed as everything, uh, you know, as the, as the idea itself, because it is, in fact, not the idea. It is, in fact, not the place that's, you know, that's that's the map. Um, but it just needs to have enough information. And and I think a lot of times we get confused uh, because we're like, well, why don't people understand this, number one? And it's because, well, you're not giving it to them in a format that they can understand. It's too complex. And hopefully I'm not doing that now. Um and, uh, and and the other thing is 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 that you know we criticize we criticize the analogy um, very very often in our in our discussions here you know because we're, we're hobbyists at whatever it is we're doing you know uh, you know religion theology philosophy all all the stuff that we're doing here on YouTube you know we're all we're all amateurs and I mean some of us might do it professionally but when we're here on YouTube we're, we're, we are being we are we are amateurs interacting with amateurs and and uh, and. We end up criticizing a lot uh, the the analogy when the analogy isn't actually the idea. It's just the 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 handle that we're using uh, to be able to, to to get people to understand what we're talking about. And maybe you know if they understand that, then they'll see if they're interested even more in a discussion, etc. So those were just a few ideas that I wanted to uh, to to just lay out there before I made my other video, which is going to talk about more of this stuff, but I, I knew I was going to need to break it down anyway. So uh, look for that one in the next day or so, and peace.